Hi, in this demonstration we're going to take a look at the Kudzu Forms Migrator and how we can use it to take InfoPath, Word, PDFs or Excel forms and we'll be able to migrate them into modern SharePoint lists with a custom Lightning Forms layout. So what we're going to do first of all is just get into reading a new form. So we're going to click on to read new form here and uh, you'll notice the different types of form that we can read in. Uh, so we have balsamic mockups, which is basically a sketch of what you want a form to look like. We can read that in. Uh, we can also read in Microsoft Excel forms or images of forms, InfoPath forms, PDFs or even Uniform. And uh, the PDFs could also be Word forms. If you take that Word document and you save it out as a PDF, we'll be able to use that as a reader as well. So in this example, we're going to use a InfoPath form. And I could either point at a SharePoint form library if I already have one uh, created, um, or I can also upload just the form design, the XSN file, which is what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to take the employment application XSN and open that up. And we can give this a name. So I'm just going to call it Lightning Tools Employment Form. There we go. And uh, once we're happy with that, we'll accept the defaults and we'll hit go. And what you're going to see in here is uh, the application created. Uh, we can preview what that form is going to look like as well. So when we hit preview, or this is what it does look like rather, uh, in InfoPath. And uh, what you'll notice, we've got a single column layout at the top, followed by a three column layout, and then a two column layout, back to a three column layout, and so on. Uh, we also have some repeating tables. So in here, we can add education and references and previous employment. Uh, and of course, we've also got the Kudzu logo and uh, a title as well on that form as styling. So we're going to just jump back into Kudzu. Uh, we'll hit close on that reader. And uh, it has generated for me the Lightning Tools employment form, uh, which I can now go into. And we can choose to write this out to the SharePoint site. So I'm just going to jump here and take the URL of that SharePoint site. And we're going to click on to write inside of Kudzu. We'll select Lightning Forms as the writer. And I could either use an existing connection that I've already created for other SharePoint sites, or I can generate a new connection. Uh, so in here, we'll call this the Lightning Tools demo. And I'll paste in the URL for that particular site. And we'll choose how we want to authenticate, which I'm going to do using uh, integrated uh, security. So we can test that as well, make sure that we can communicate with that site. So that's come back successful. Uh, we can hit save. And now we can hit go. And that will go through and write that InfoPath form into multiple SharePoint lists with inside our site. So the lists that get generated, we're going to have one for the main form. Um, we're also going to have one for each of the sublists, so for the education, uh, the employment history, and so on. That's all going to be generated here. And once it's created those as SharePoint lists, we move on to actually building and deploying the Lightning Forms layout. Uh, and of course, you could customize that further um, after it's been deployed. If you wanted to make any changes uh, using Lightning Forms, uh, you don't have to accept it as it was in InfoPath, we could make further refinements uh, using Lightning Forms as well. So that's now at the deployment stage. Hopefully, we'll be able to see some success uh, from that, which we now do. Um, so this says it was 100% uh, successful. Um, so let's just close uh, the Kudzu uh, migrator. We'll jump up into the list. Uh, let's choose the site contents uh, so we can see uh, those lists generated. So as you can see, we've got uh, multiple lists here. This top one is the main list. Uh, so as we, we go into that, we'll be able to click onto Lightning Forms and see the customized layout. So clicking onto Lightning Forms here, uh, we'll click on to customize on the new form. And here is our layout. So we have the title, uh, employment application, along with the logo. Uh, we have the three uh, fields in the one column uh, with the three column layout, the two column layout, and back to the three column layout again, as it was inside the InfoPath form. And as we scroll down further, we also have those sublists. So uh, we can now hit save and close. Uh, we can also do a refresh of the form as well. 
and let's hit new. And uh, as you can see, we've got the form. Uh, so we can go through and, uh, and complete that form now. Uh, what I am going to do is just take a moment uh, to jump back into Lightning Forms and we'll just customize that form layout uh, a bit further to make it bigger because that's the default size uh, that we have there for a SharePoint list panel. Um, so using Lightning Forms, uh, let's click onto the, Lightning, the, the Form Settings button and we'll make that a large panel instead of the medium panel. And so now we've saved and closed that. We'll hit refresh again, hit new, and there we go. We've got a much better looking form, uh, which we can, uh, of course, fill out, hit save, and capture those details. Okay, so that is using the Kudzu uh, form migrator for SharePoint and Lightning Forms. If you are interested in any further information, please reach out to us on sales at lightningtools.com or go and visit lightningtools.com. Okay, many thanks.